What is up, everyone? The Rise of Nightmares have started to move again. It's moving in circles! Mike, do you care to recap what happened last time <laughs> and all of the stupidness of that? Last time on Rise, Rise of, of Nightmares! Nightmares. <clears throat> I became Ernst. That was the dumbest thing that happened? You became Ernst? I think that was the coolest part. Oh, by the way, you might want to start moving forward unless you're just going to spend, like, the next 20 minutes standing still. Alright. It's your way of protesting. Uh, be prepared for a lot, a lot, a lot of combat is Ernst. Okay. Like, fucking tons of it. Many strong men await. I don't know if, it, if it's going to happen yet, but... Okay, so we just saw Kate walking away with who appears to be Josh. It's Victor in Josh's body. We had a big dumb twist last time. Uh, Fido kidnapped us after Kate walked off into a zombie rave. And he put Victor's dead body, or I mean, Victor's soul into Josh and Josh's into Ernst. And we are now playing as Ernst. And it's as terrible as ever, so fuck it. Uh, I, we are in the thick of shit now. Yep, I had it all over my face. <laughs> you had the, the thick shit all over your face. Hey, go dude. pursue your waifu. Yeah, fuck her. Pursue. I'm leaving. <laughs> go uh, go Going leave to them then. Sweet German raves. Man, uh, sweet zombie German raves. Just uh, German zombies. I mean, there's something else that I'm realizing that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Do you remember what the deal with Ernst was? Uh, he was a monster. Yeah, but do you, do you remember the detail about his mask? Uh, it opened up and stuff. Yeah, Showed but... his face. Like, you remember that he couldn't see, right? He was basically blind because of the mask covering him? Yeah. Whoa. But he had super hearing, and that's how we detected you. Yeah, so, so this if, should at least give me some sort of weird-ass, like, blind... Sonar vision. mode. Yeah. But no, you just see perfectly fine. It's... Uh, we had one really insanely dumb twist last time, and it was that we we p traveled to a parallel dimension or back in time or something, so that we are now Ernst stalking the kids, the European kids from the beginning of the game, and that doesn't make any sense well, at all. No, what ha what I took out of it is that you are, is that um, replaying or reviewing the the events from the beginning. Oh, hey, it's the zombie from the well again. Why is he? I back? missed well zombie. All your friends are back. You you've missed them so much. I have. You missed Dominatrix Zombie and Armin Zombie and Exploding Chest Zombie. Okay. All anyway. of the cast. Anyway, so what I got out of it is that what you saw in the very beginning was like it was a time skip. You were forward in time, playing as those kids, and then you see you as Ernst. Front in that time. And then you go back in time to play as Josh. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey bullshit, right? Yeah, well, it's not really time That's not, travel. It's some sort of nonsense travel. This is the room that uh, Fido was originally in. Yeah, I figured I'd clear it out. Oh, and you we found a we... tape. Great. Yeah. Oh, let's... you remember Ojavindo? Uh, there's a tape later on. I'm, I can't remember exactly where it is. We might have passed it already that explains what that is. It's pretty much the Philosopher's Stone. I think it means, uh... It's it's a Romanian word for... The Living One, or something like that. It, you know what's a shame about this? Is that the plot is actually kind of coherent. Like, they ignore some really big subplot details. Like, Josh being an alcoholic. But it, it, the plot's a little bit coherent. And the twist... The, the way the twist starts is even a little bit cool, but then... They bring up, like, the looping timeline thing later on, and it just... Like, the story falls apart like a Chinese motorcycle. You, what? Have you ridden a Chinese motorcycle? No, The Simpsons. Remember Burns' son? Oh, yeah. yeah he's falling apart like a Chinese motorcycle. Oh, yeah, that dude. I can't... Yeah. I can't believe that was a thing. It's falling apart like a Russian ghost ship <laughs> pirated by cannibal rats. Pirated? <laughs> or piloted, <laughs> pirated, and then piloted. You heard about that, right? There's a there's a ghost ship just wandering around somewhere in I think the Pacific, and they can't track it, and it's being piloted by diseased, 
cannibal rats. Really? It sounds like something out of a tabloid, but it's totally legit. How the hell are those rats piloting? I don't know. Maybe they're stacking on top of each other to form like a Voltron rat. Oh my god, Voltron rat. <laughs> Voltron rat pilots ghost ships like no other, man. I told you, be prepared for a lot of combat in this. But I am the strongest of the creations that yeah, this guy but, has made. But they're gonna overwhelm you with like 30 at a time, and it's insane. You you better block or backstep or do some shit, or you will die here. Luckily, they... Did you get hit in that QTE? Yeah. Or I mean, while, you, while it was going on? Yeah, you could just hold block and Heal pretty up. much forever. There's like there's no way they can hit you through the block. No. The only thing is, do you remember if uh, if your health will regenerate yeah. while you're uh, still in combat? It will just just slowly. Yeah. It's oh a lot boy, slower. we're in for fun now. Get off! Stop grabbing onto me! I'm trying to heal block. This place sure went to hell since Eddie Guerrero's party. Yeah, really. <laughs> I must be at a wall or something, because I cannot back up. No, maybe you're just getting, like, stunlocked. Yeah, I don't think you regenerate while you're actively in combat. I was before, or as Josh. <laughs> okay, uh... You're out, you're, you're screwed, basically. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking this very slowly. And when I say slow, I mean fucking slow. <laughs> DPS the zombies very, very slowly. When I say slow, oh, they they gave me an out. They, oh, man. They're backing off. They don't want any of Ernst anymore. <laughs> no, double fist them. I'm trying. It doesn't always, <laughs> doesn't always, right. yeah, see? It's not the most responsive game. No. no. Oh, get him, get him! Now there's still more zombies behind you. I can't believe how many they throw at you when you start playing as Ernst. It's fine. It's out of control. Come on! <laughs> Fucking Christ. They're all a part of this crazy Victor cult. No, it's, it's a sun cult, like the Kickstarter woman. Did you hear about that? No. <laughs> there was some woman uh, who made a Kickstarter campaign for... I think it, she was making like an iOS game or something, and the project kept getting delayed, and she posted an update one day that was like, yeah, well, sorry about all the delays. Uh, I've been getting harassed by this voice who keeps telling me he's the sun. And then after that, she, the, she has posted more and more updates, like the sun is really telling me that I shouldn't be making this game. I think it's a bad idea. The sun keeps telling me not to do it. So then what? So she canceled the game because the sun told her not to. <laughs> and what happened to, uh... Open the door. Come on, I'm drinking. <laughs> oh, the wolves are at old Gil's door. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <laughs> so what ended up happening to all the money? It got returned, correct? I, I guess it, it all finally got refunded. I don't know if the the campaign was successful or not. I mean, it was as successful as a game being funded by a Sun Cult can be. That's pretty successful. You recognize this place, right? It's yeah. where you and the English psychiatrist woman uh, encountered Ernst early on. Oh no. Oh no! I fucking did it! You did. I saw you. You know, right before that happened, there was a tip that said gestures. Make big gestures. <laughs> did it say that? Did it say make big gestures? Yeah, so apparently it wants go to go fly go. through your fucking back wall here. <laughs> wants you to do like some sort of crazy dive onto my bed. Oh, if it's having a hard time rec recognizing your gestures, the boss fights there coming up are gonna be brutal. Because up until now, I what the fuck? Did it. I watched you jump backwards like a kangaroo. This game is falling apart like the Sochi Olympics. 
I heard they weren't bad. The the Olympic Games weren't bad, except for all the corrupt corrupt judges. Uh, what about what's you her know, name who revealed her top? What? I, I she, didn't... She went to unzip her... She didn't realize she didn't have anything underneath her bodysuit. So she went <laughs> to take her shirt, like, she unzipped her top. What I, the f***? Maybe just take a very light step backwards. This is the magic of Kinect, Mike. You are the controller. Don't you love being the controller? Fuck no, I'm not a very good one. Yeah, there was there were all these issues surrounding the Olympics that just made it a, a rip roaring adventure for everyone who went there. Rip roaring good time. Yeah, like uh, they posted signs in all the hotel rooms. I. F oh my god. They posted signs in all the hotel rooms that were like, uh, "Please do not use your the, use the water from the faucet on your face." It contains a very dangerous substance. <laughs> Ru Russian hotel water is very poisonous. We are, it is the pride of Sochi. It contains over 200 microorganisms not yet ca cataloged by modern science. Pride of Sochi. <laughs> yeah, there is... Fuck yeah, good job. Yeah, there were reports of, like, bags of cement up in trees leaking cement down. Uh, one of the Olympians had to bust through his locked bathroom door two times. People had to climb out of their windows to escape the hotels. Some of the hotels didn't have lobbies or working elevators and unlit stairways that had uneven stairs. Like, stairs that varied in height and width and shit. That's weird. It was nuts. There was there were issues with uh, packs of wild roaming uh, feral dogs that had to be killed in mass. Really? Yeah. This I, why the why the Olympics were brought to Sochi, I'll never understand. Because it's rip roaring good time. People were kept getting attacked by bees. Killer bees. <laughs> Killer bees. No. Yeah, and Sochi was experiencing a heat wave that was melting all the snow. <laughs> it's like the notorious Russian heat wave. <laughs> that just, I don't know why, but when you mentioned Killer Bees, it just brought up Chatterbox from GTA 3. That's exactly my point, Laszlo. Killer Bees! <laughs> killer Bees! Did you know that if the current migration continues, the Killer Bees will be upon us <laughs> by the year 2012? Or whatever the fuck? What are you talking about? Get off my show! Oh my god! <laughs> what are you talking about? You're just a cheap pimp from upstate! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> oh, who does he sound like? He sounds like a uh, somebody famous. Who, Laszlo? Yeah, he Laszlo is somewhat famous. No, 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 I mean somebody else. Not the, not Laszlo, the radio host from... Where is he from? <laughs> Illinois? I, I, I don't know. Uh, I think he's got a... Ra is, it's out Midwest. <laughs> Get off! Come <laughs> on! Just flail your heart. Stop it! Get out of here! Get out of here, you crazy oh bitch! Oh my god, this game is my spirit animal. Your spirit animal sucks. <laughs> my spirit animal is fucking broken. Oh, this one room backstep. Oh my god, it recognized oh, it. Oh, it almost What did. are you doing differently? How, are, how have you varied your technique up? I haven't. <laughs> Oh, man. You don't have to hit the switch. The spikes aren't there anymore. Remember, you hit it the last time you were in this room. Except last time, I think you had to go to the other side of the room. Yeah. Swat that door open. No! Damn it! It's still locked! Oh, this is... You can really start to see the budget. I, I see it over there. That's the budget right there. I'm going into the budget. <laughs> yeah. Opening the budget. door to the budget. Oh, I know this place. The courtyard? I got my ass off. Oh, jeez. I think this is a boss fight room. Dogman. What are you doing up there, Dogman? What were you calling it before? Up, Fido? Yeah. No, he's Dogman. Dogman X. <laughs> Can I get some water? A DMX impression sucks. Ur, ur, ur. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You need to be in a special class. <laughs> you are in a Oh my god. Why are you bothering? it is. It's uh, Jane. Yeah. The, uh, the psychiatrist. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's a boss fight. 
she got like brutally murdered way harder than this. Uh, so I think either this boss fight or next boss fight, they're gonna introduce something new to you, which is multiple QTEs in a row. I'm curious to see how you navigate that while not annihilating my room. Oh, back step. No. Damn it! No, <laughs> you just did like an around the world. I tried. Yeah, just block the projectiles, do the QTs, and hit her when she's not shooting well, I want blue to double. balls. What? I keep trying to double her. <laughs> Chain keeps giving Ernst blue balls. <laughs> that's like, that's a JR call. <laughs> it's like, you remember when, uh, when, it, when The Rock faced Triple H in a strap match? <laughs> and, uh... Triple H is up on the turnbuckle and Rock pulls him down and JR just yells, Oh, the, the Rock is jerking Helmsley off! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you know why JR is such a, an insanely good commentator? Because he's crazy? No, because when he started his career, his co-commentator was blind. Really? Yeah. So, to, to get his co-commentator into it, he had to be, like, as descriptive and as vivid as possible. That's why JR is, like, the best commentator there's ever been. But then, every, every now and again, you'll get, like, oh a... Oh, my God. Wow, she gave you a lot of blue balls. She hit me, like, fucking hardcore. <laughs> All right, which way is he going to want me to go? Like, you know what kind of bugs me about this boss fight is... Like, she had a clearly defined personality trait and a profession, and she was kind of fleshed out. And, like, nothing about this boss fight tells you anything about her or is informed by what you already know about her. She could just be generic Zombie Woman 8, and it wouldn't, like, you wouldn't know any better. She what? should throw psychology textbooks at you. I'm surprised she, maybe that's what these blue things are. <laughs> blue. She's from, <laughs> she's from a college where they provided blue balls for psychology. <laughs> like, the back. Visualizing abnormal psychology, it wrapped in blue energy. God, this boss fight's boring. It is. <laughs> Just like most things in this game eventually get. You might want to block a bit more so you can recover your health. I've been blocking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get it together! I'm trying. Now you can hit her. Hit her a bunch. Hit her more a bunch. Yeah, Victor, or, uh, yeah, Fido, come adjust her mid-boss fight. <laughs> she just flew the fuck away! Oh, God. Um, yeah, just backstep it. She spirit-bombed you. Damn. Son Goku? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Oh, yeah. This is, like, the least threatening-looking attack. She just flails lazily at you I twice. Um, is that it? Spirit bomb. Good. No, spirit it's bomb. another spirit bomb. So all this stupid spirit bomb attack is going on. I was watching uh, UFC 170 the last... Are spirit bombing? Yeah, they, yeah, Ronda Rousey spirit bomb Sarah McMahon. That's it awesome. was sick. <laughs> no, something way worse happened. Uh, Herb Dean who is, like, a really respected ref, is losing his shit so hard, it's hard to watch. It's making fights hard to watch. Oh, what is she doing? Spirit Bomb? Uh, last pay-per-view, or last month, is that when the last one was? He stopped a match between, uh, Uriah Hall, and I can't remember who he was facing. After, uh, Uriah Hall got tagged, like, once, and then they got, they took it to the floor, and he's just getting pounded. Like this? Yeah, sure. And he's given uh, the referee, who was Herb Dean at the time, the thumbs up saying, I'm good to go on, don't stop the match, I'm not unconscious. And Herb is like, no, I didn't see it, it stops it. No one knows if Uriah could have made the comeback or won by decision, he fucked the whole thing up. People were pissed. So then this pay-per-view rolls around and he's refereeing, I think, two matches on the main card. And the first match, he lets Pyle beat a dude almost to death on the mat before he stops the, the before he stops the match. He's like he took twenty or thirty shots to the jaw. Dude is standing over him, just 
pounding the shit out of him. And he looks dead. He looks like he has been murdered. And Herb Dean is like, no, I'm not getting another, I'm not getting more shit for early stoppage. So he almost lets him die. <laughs> And then later on, the main events, uh, Ronda Rousey and Sarah McMahon. Ronda Rousey knees Sarah in the in the liver, and she crumples for just a second, like you were supposed to do when you get hit in the kidney or the liver. And Herb Dean is like, before the shots even landed, running over to them to separate them and call the match over. Damn. He's lost his shit so hard. Like, she, like, Sarah's on the brink of death. He's just ran over. It's pretty bad. Damn, so okay, I so, if I just saw that correctly, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Fido, Dogman X, DMX is on fire, uh, as a result of Jane's actions. Clap. Clap. So now, we're I stumbling our battered ass out back into the forest as Ernst. And we're about to see the game shit itself even harder. Like, way harder. 